Hi, my name is Carla. I'm the course leader for the National Diploma in Applied Science. And I'm here today to talk to you about what's involved with the course. First thing to say really, and I suppose not many people know this, is that the, this qualification is equivalent to three A-levels. It's a standalone qualification, so there isn't an expectation to study anything else alongside it. Some students do choose to do this, which is equivalent to studying four A-levels, and that's quite a lot of work. So the recommendation is just to study this qualification only. So where does this qualification take you? It takes you into lots of different directions. It's, as I say, equivalent to three A-levels. You can get into university with it, which often surprises people. You can go into the work workplace with it. The mode of study is uh, coursework, a mixture of coursework and exams. So there's about 70% coursework and about 30% exams. There are two exams in the first year and two exams in the second year. I think the nice thing to say about the diploma is that as you progress through the course and you do your coursework, we keep track of your grades. So you always know where you are. You know how you're achieving as you go along. So there's no surprise at the end of two years when that envelope comes through the door as to what your qualification is. You know before you leave here exactly what your, your, um, your grades will be. Having said that, it obviously makes it quite hard when you first come in to the college to get really high grades straight away. And so some students do struggle with this. It's not an easy course. A lot of people think a BTEC is a very easy course. Nobody can fail a BTEC. That's not the case. If you work hard, you meet your deadlines, you revise well for your exams, yes, you will do well. If you're lazy, leave assignments to the last minute, you will not do particularly well. And yes, maybe you come out after two years with a pass, but what can you do with that pass? Not very much, okay? So we do have very high expectations. We have high expectations of meeting deadlines. You're given right at the very start of the course an assignment calendar of which we have set deadlines for work to come in. And we stick to that, and we expect you to stick to that. The course is delivered over four days. So that means that you have one day off a week. Now what we say for that one day is that that should be your study day. So that is an opportunity to catch up with your coursework and it may be an opportunity to go and do work experience as well, which we encourage, especially in the second year when you're making applications to university. The work here is a lot of practical work. There are There is theory lessons as well. But the majority of our work is practical work, so you build up some very, very good practical skills that are invaluable for when you move on to university or into the workplace. One of the things I think is always really important is what I call an exit plan. When you come into the college, you want to do a qualification, you need to think about what you're going to do when you leave here. So I know you haven't even started, but we're already talking about when you leave. And the reason being, is that you need to be aware of the different areas that you can move into, the different areas of either employment or study that this qualification will take you. So for example, students that left last year, and we had a range of abilities last year. So we had our really, really top students, and then we had our students that still passed the course, still got through, and um, they went to different, um, they had different destinations. So for instance, we had people that went on to do forensic and criminology. We had students doing biomedical sciences, um, adult nursing, we had uh, anthropology. So quite a range of courses and we also had geology as well. Uh, this year, our students, our second year students that have just, have just finished the course, have got their offers, their firm offers now from university to do things like diagnostic radiography. In fact, one student has got an offer from Exeter University, uh, a very good offer, DMM. That student is going to finish this course with triple distinction star. So they gave her quite a low offer because they really, really wanted her. So diagnostic radiography, we've got another student uh, 
still healthcare going into nursing. We have another student doing something completely different, zoology. Uh, another student doing ocean science. We've still got people wanting to do criminology and forensic science. Um, we have somebody uh, that's been uh, accepted an unconditional offer to go to Lincoln University to study chemistry. So as you can see, there's quite a range of courses at university that this course will take you on to. The other thing to say is those particular courses are courses where there are that are a part of employment, there will be jobs at the end. So if you think about uh, your biomedical scientist now working in laboratories, or your nurse, or anybody going into healthcare, that kind of training that you get at university enables you to go into the workplace afterwards. So entry requirement onto the course is fairly low, but I don't want you thinking, because it's a low qualification to get on, that it's a, a lesser qualification. It's still a tough qualification, and it surprises some students how hard this can be. So uh, entry requirement will be four GCSEs at grade four or above. Um, and really, any questions that you may have, uh, obviously have a look at the website where there's a bit more information about the particular modules that we're studying. We're studying. But if you have got any questions, feel free to email us. Many thanks.